program has been important at McNeco for a lot of reasons. I think it has boosted morale, and then it has also helped our young men understand and feel a part of something. That we didn't have anything that they could really cling to and call their own. Uh, and so this lacrosse component and the way this sport is very family oriented and team driven um, really has helped us um, portray that into our young men and then build camaraderie inside and outside of the school. This is a diversity and inclusion uh, initiative. The funding came from USL to do specifically diverse, diversity and inclusion. This is an underserved area. It is an area that does not have, quote, a lacrosse culture to draw on. It proves to the funding organizations that we can, in fact, start from the ground zero, enter the game at any point, and have it be successful. And above all, is an extension of the classroom. Every day I wake up, I think about like, oh yeah, I gotta cross back this ball out. Time to like, it's game time, stop playing around. Cause lacrosse it helps you with your grades too. Cause like, if you have like S, you can't play on the field. So like, that helps boost my, my like thinking of being successful, like making it in life, getting my grades up like straight A's. Probably not straight A's, but like A's and B's. Let's see. Every day they turn to us for assistance. They ask questions every day in the classroom. Um, well, I'll sit there for 30 minutes and just help them on one math problem. On, uh, I'll help them understand a reading article. Whatever it is, um, they ask us for everything because they know that we. They know that we're there for them. And it's like, coach, 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 coach. Look at my homework sheet. Look at my homework sheet. You see, I got all fives, coach, today. And I'm like, hey, man, you did it awesome job today. So it also gives us another ability to another touch point um, to really be able to have conversations about life surrounded around their academic success. It's almost overwhelming. I think when we started this program we did not realize how intense the tutoring piece of this would be. That if you take kids after school They'll come to tutoring, they'll do their homework, they'll copy, but they're really not engaged. But we have found out with our group that we've had to upgrade the tutoring, which we have. Uh, staff members have joined us. We've had to, it's very intense as far as what they expect. I cannot walk in the room without books being pushed in front of me because the understanding is it's not a reward to get better grades, it's a requirement. I consistently like to push that is you don't quit and we're not gonna be the ones to quit art on you. A lot of people in their life has quit on them. And that's what they think it's just okay that people just do that. A lot of people come and go in these kids' lives. We have to understand that. We don't have to feel sorry for them, we just have to understand it. And understanding it means I have to be held totally accountable to him. That when I say I'm gonna be there, I'm there. You have to be committed. Like you can't just come to practice one week, chill for the next week and then like come the other week, you have to like stay like the part of the team, you're on the roster, so I was like coming to practice every day. Like coach, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I wake up every morning so happy because I know after school I'm going to play lacrosse. I'm going to get to see you guys. You guys are going to make me feel better. The school and, and the um, Raise the Bar program has really given them the opportunity to be able to go out there and U.S. Lacrosse in the first stick program has given them the opportunity to have the sticks and the helmets um, to make them be able to, you know, kind of kind of have something of their own. And it was really cool to see all the guys today. It was their first day actually taking the sticks home, and it was something special. Um, they all they all picked it up and they started putting it in the bin, and then they realized, no way, I get to take it home today. And Cross has been able to come to this this particular school and help these kids out um, is is just absolutely tremendous. These uh, these volunteers have done something very very special for these kids, and you can tell that they they understand it. They know what's going on, and they and they really really do appreciate it. We see a lot more teamwork and a lot more collaboration and just looking at them when they got their helmets it was they were just beaming and they were taking them around the school and it makes them stand out and be a, a little bit unique it's like this is our thing you know the school has their thing but lacrosse is our thing and they're very proud of it there is one student in particular who's gained an immense amount from this program and he has some learning disabilities 
and uh, the students have really banded around him and really he's gained 21 brothers. I can see they protect him in the hallway. They don't let him get hurt during practice. They slow down and show him techniques of how he should position his feet. So I think it's those unique um, uh, instances of where I can see like, man, this power of sports and the power of lacrosse.